Good morning Wolves fans. Yes, we finally had the manager and that manager is Julian Lopetegui. Yes, much, after much speculation, after six years of chasing, after two turndowns, third time lucky, uh, Wolves have finally got their man, Julian Lopetegui. As you can see from the Wolves website, the official announcement that he is to take over as Wolves manager from the 14th of November. That's just after the Arsenal game. He has to get his work permit sorted, but that won't be any issue because he's been uh, at the top end of the game. He'll have all the points needed. That'll fly through, no problem. And like uh, the Archibald they had to do when they got Bruno Large in place. Uh, Jeff Shee has come out, uh, broken his silence uh, to say that he is a top level elite manager with all the attributes. He was their number one target from the beginning and are obviously delighted to have got him uh, in post. Um, uh, John Percy has uh, stated today that he's expected that Julian will be at uh, the Arsenal game uh, the, and obviously to watch that and take over. Also a really interesting piece from Guillaume Belague, a uh, top Spanish journalist. Um, who's really excited uh, for Wolves fans for um, Julian coming. Um, he said obviously he's had his rest, his time out of the game, he thinks he's always wanted to uh, manage in the Premier League and he's going to have, he's got his spark back, he'll be bringing some of his backroom team as well, they're ready for the challenge. Um, and obviously he gets the opportunity to take over and get Wolves to play in his style. Some interesting things, obviously he was the guy that brought through Ruben Neves at a young age, 17, at Porto, so that's great because he's going to be the Wolves captain. It'll be brilliant for Ruben as well. Obviously, he's also managed Costa and uh, Johnny Otto as well. And um, he does tend to like to play a 4-4-3 uh, dynamic uh, press with the ball and without the ball, uh, which will be interesting. He has also got the option of a 4-2-3-1 that he's played as well. And um, yeah, I mean, as as Gillen said uh, in his video about the, uh, the the Sevilla fans, obviously he talked about his time at Sevilla and how obviously things happened towards the end. But when he left, the night he left, there was it, they gave him uh, a stand innovation from the stands on his last game, and uh, as he said, that says a lot about uh, about what he'd achieved with Sevilla. Th for the three successive Champions League uh, qualifications for the first time in Sevilla's history, obviously won the Europa League. Uh, so it's exciting, it's really exciting uh, for Wolves fans, uh, you know, the patience, um, Obviously, there's been a lot of criticism. We've criticised, you know, we did say that when uh, it was said that Steve Davis was to be uh, given the reins until 2023, it seemed as though they'd made the decision that they were going to wait uh, for Lopetegui. Uh, Lopetegui now feels ready, and at the third time of asking, he is going to become Wolves manager, and this could be the start of an exciting era. First things first, obviously, um, we've got to get some points before we get to the World Cup because we, we need we don't want to be cut adrift, and that's the Brighton game and the Arsenal game. Um, and then hopefully the, his next job will to be to train the team and get the team moving up the table and then obviously see where we go from there. Hopefully there will be funds uh, to bring in the players that he wants in January. I'm sure that's something that he's talked about. Uh, there is no announcement uh, from Wolves at this point on the contract details, the length of the contract, I'm sure that will come out in due course. But yeah, Julian Lopetegui finally is Wolves' new manager, starting on the 14th, expected to be at the Arsenal game. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below on how you're feeling about this today. Smash a like on the video, and if you're brand new, please subscribe. And yeah, look out for more updates. And uh, yeah, let's uh, hope we can, as I record this, we can get three points against Brighton. Come on, always Wolves.